Yes, once again, it's polka time, and here's a band we haven't heard from in quite some time. It's the Box Family Band with their polka hit, that old favorite, Squeeze Box. These are the days, these are the lights, don't shake my hand. The sky is blue, I love it, when the light will change my hand. He doesn't look very happy, does he? Oh, you really miss him, don't you? We all really miss him, don't we? Milo, darling. He's oh. just a friggin' dog. Your father loved this friggin' dog. So don't you? You know what's going on, don't you? You do? Talk to us. Milo, please. <laughs> Come on, Lizzie. I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. It's all right. It's all fine. And you want to know what's really funny? If Brad would have been playing outside the door, Dad would have opened it. That's crazy, Lolly. Your dad was sick. It's not your fault. Yo, Brad, check it out, man. We got dancers, lights. I think we're ready for a real life show. I don't think we're ready. But what about get a polka? Our dream. Oh, Brad. I'm so sorry. Terrible. Were you playing the accordion for your father, too? No. I was upstairs. What were you doing upstairs? Yeah, Brad. What were you doing upstairs? Choking the chicken. <laughs> okay, Lolly, I think you've had enough. Great. <laughs> oh, oh, Lolly. Suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. And he took them up in his arm to lay his hands upon them and bless them. Do you know your Bible, Brad? No. I can certainly have a chance to learn it while you're staying with us in Utah. Your mother asked us to take care of you and Lolly while she's in the clinic. Clinic? What clinic? She needs some time to heal, Bradley. You're kidding, right? The Lord works in mysterious ways. And in a way, you and Lolly are like the kids that we never had. Bob and Betty have offered to take you. And the mountains, you know how beautiful the mountains are? Brad, help me with this. What are these? Well, Sleeping pills? From the doctor. Gave me to relax. I can't find the hole. You know, I've heard that sometimes a bullet doesn't come out. It actually ricochets off the bones and sort of travels around inside the body. Was it a 38? Is it true your grandfather offed himself too? And his father before that? Whoa, did you ever think, you know, that you're next? <sighs> So what's going on? 
Um, we're registering for the accordion festival today. Come here, Milo. Oh, you like that? Yeah, I know you like that. Oh, come here. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, I know you want it. Mm. Um, my dad's kind of waiting. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll go get her. Uh, come here. Molly! Oh. What? Cindy's here for the festival. I'm not doing that shit anymore. What are you talking about? You've been practicing for months. Go down and talk Don't to you me. tell me what to do. Cindy's here. Cindy's here for you. Fucking Little Miss Perfect. I don't hear you. I don't care. Don't you get it? We're going to Utah, Brad. You can't just quit. You quit? You're the one that broke his heart. You think you were the only one sick playing those stupid polkas? It was a family thing. And sometimes you have to make sacrifices for your family. The one time we really needed you. When he really needed you, you weren't there. Mom. Say something. Lolly said I'm that. I'm a loser. I guess I'm a loser. No, Cindy. You are not a loser. I, I gotta go. Cindy, I'll play with you. What? Yeah. Cuz. I think I, I think I love you. Uh-huh. I mean, I've wanted to tell you for a really long time now. I, I gotta go. I gotta go. Cindy, maybe we should, uh, you know, talk about this. Oh, Cindy, I love you. Oh, yeah. Oh, give it to me. Oh, Cindy. <laughs> Yeah.